Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. I feel terrible for Nick Vile here and his family. They uh, had a honeymoon turn out very poorly. I don't want to bury the lead, but uh, never even made it into the country they were flying to. Let's uh, just listen to it. It's a full, it's got like a three and a half hour episode here. They also had some crazy things happen at their wedding. Uh, truly a, a deranged story but about their hairdresser, which was a friend. That's a whole different story. But I wanted to share this uh, honeymoon story. Regardless of who you are, where you're going, uh, you just would never want to have this happen to you. Have a listen. Passport in time, but we did. You know, but there was a bit of a process. Nally's mom calls us up like a week and a half earlier being like... I had booked. It was right after I had booked yeah. everything. The hotel, her flight. The non-refundable. Gets, yeah, hotel. the non-refundable hotel. She gets a notification from Delta, so she texts me and she's like... Oh, they have go. a non-refundable hotel. This is bad foreshadowing for what's about to happen. Text from Delta. You've been busy. You booked honeymoon. I'm so excited. And then she responds with, oh my God, my passport's expired. Oh no. <laughs> so... She has to drive to New Orleans for same day passport. She gets it done. Oh, but I only gosh. bring this up because clearly we've been doing a lot of work in making sure all of our passports are work, up to date. Are up to date. Everything's good. Everything's good. We walk into customs. We are with the agent. We hand them all the passports. My mom goes first. She's stamped. She goes up where she's like, okay, I'm going to go and get luggage. We had, you know, requested a car from the hotel to pick us up. She starts getting the luggage into the car. And of course, and her mom's going to the honeymoon because they also have a newborn girl or, you know, relatively young, a couple months old. And then the agent stamps the passport. We don't know whose passport at this point. Okay. Stamps the passport, is about to hand it back, and then looks at it and goes, there's a page torn here. And we're like... What? Huh? Like, how did this happen? And we're like, we have no idea. I don't know. She goes, hold on one second. Walks. Pa tearing a page in a passport's hard. I mean, right? That's, that's hard paper to tear. By herself to the offense. We're kind of looking at each other. We don't know what's going on. She comes back. She says, come with me. I'm thinking this is definitely my, this is a me <laughs> issue. Uh, I had lost my driver's license. And so I don't currently have my driver's license with me. And so I've been waiting for him to get in the mails. For the past couple of weeks, I've been using my passport mm -hmm. to, you know, for any time I need to, you know, to, I've been carrying it around with me. Now he's just been sitting in, in the same spot as it always has Literally. been. So I'm thinking, of course, um, you know, again, I do a lot of things right, but when it, I, you know, my brain works a certain way that it takes so much energy to do all the things I'm good at right that like when it comes to other things that I, I just, you know. Fall through the cracks. Fall through the cracks. Yeah. This is something that I'm thinking, this is, fuck, what, what, what's going on? What? And it turns out it's Nally's passport. And they're just like, you got a page torn here. We went to Toronto, didn't have an issue. Like, I've used this passport. I have never had an issue. I have no idea what's wrong. And this was really, I feel like, a moment where Nick and I got to not only, I mean, we had River in our arms. We had to hold it together for our daughter. Mm -hmm. But also, it really, like, challenged us as husband and wife. And it was, like, the first yeah. thing we had to conquer. As I love this. It's so true. You, I can't tell you how many times couples fighting in the airport is the worst. There's something about the anxiety of traveling. Did you bring the vape pen with you? You can't do that. You're, oh, I got to pack the suitcase. It's got to fit in here. Do you have the hair dryer? There, there's something about traveling that uh, has led to many a breakup. So, yes, uh, uh, good, good on her to recognize. It's all. I think it's always good when you're fighting with your partner or having a disagreement. It's always good to recognize. All right, this is a challenge for us to do better at communicating. Slow our breath down, not raise our voices. Love each other. That's what a committed relationship is. So good for them, right there. It's husband and wife. Uh, at this point, you know, because I'm, I'm still optimistic because they're like, we're not supposed to let you in. I'm hearing supposed to, not can't. Right. Or you technically. Know. And I'm like, now at this point, now he's sobbing, sobbing oh. and sobbing. I'm like, it's going to be okay. They're going to figure it out. We're going to get a lecture of some kind. Like right. clearly. We're I would have been under Nick's camp. I would have never thought that I wouldn't get let in because of this. Maybe that's the privilege of being a white man. <laughs> Is that oh, a torn paper? Come on, let me in. it would be fine. Mm -hmm. They come out and they're like, sorry, we're sending you back. And like, I'm like, you this cannot can't. enter like, this, this country. I'm like, we're on our honeymoon. There's got to be something we can do. Yeah. And the good people at, of Turks and Caicos 
I will, you know, and it, we found out coming into Turks and Caicos, there's this national story about this guy, right? Who, uh, who they found uh, like a hunting bullet in his luckage. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. We were talking and, about that at the wedding. Yeah. yeah. And, and he's facing up to 12 years in prison. Yeah. Um, and then, I, we had heard that story going to Turks and Caicos. I don't hunt, so I wasn't worried. But uh, then my sister says that there is some kind of U.S. travel advisory for Turks and Caicos, and they're putting a lot of Americans in jail. So it was. Uh, um, so I don't know, but well, what I've noticed about the good people of Turks and Caicos, very nice, very pleasant. Yeah, they like their rules. <laughs> they were yeah. very nice by te while, while telling you no. Yeah, they, 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 were. They, they, they were. They were. They were. They were very nice, but she also was like, like, "Baby, stop crying. Stop yeah. crying. It's gonna be okay. You just have to get on the next flight out and go back and get a new passport and then come back." Oh, and I was like, "I'm so sorry. I don't know if you understand. <laughs> this is something. This process is not. It's not like a quick little." Um, and she's like, "Well, who all is gonna go back?" She's like, "Yeah." She looks at me. She goes, "Are you gonna?" are you going to still go to your hotel? I'm like, I'm not leaving my wife. And I, like Natalie just said at this moment, Natalie's crying. Now, if she, if, if Natalie could get same day, they could fly back and let's assume they're going on a honeymoon for a week. They could fly back, you know, maybe lose two or three days. But again, yeah, at this point, it seems like the energy. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't wish this on your worst enemies. And by the way, we do have that Turks and Caicos story. Again, uh, every, every country's got its different laws. Virginia man post bond after arrested in Turks and Caicos for allegedly bringing ammunition. You know, you just, you know, obviously it's a dumb thing that happens, but no one does this on purpose. I mean, I know people that have accidentally traveled with a switchblade, you know, oh, I forgot I had a switchblade in my gym pockets. I was unboxing Amazon packages, whatever the case may be. Sometimes things go through the cracks. Cracks. The Royal Turks and Caicos Islands Police Force said Tyler was charged with possession of ammunition after authorities allegedly found ammunition in his luggage while going through a security checkpoint. Oh, boy. Our airport didn't catch it, and the cruise ship didn't catch it. He does have a conceal and carry license, and after in the particular bag he took on the trip, had all of his emergency equipment. If we can't get this changed, it ruins our lives. It ruins my son's life because he will grow up without a dad. Oh, my gosh. He, uh, he was charged that he could carry a minimum sentence of 12 years. This is wild. Now, obviously, you can't really judge other countries. I guess you can judge them, but you have to abide by their laws. Uh, but boy, I mean, anyone traveling anytime soon, you got to be <laughs> careful out there. I appear calm, but I'm radiating with anxiety. <laughs> but I'm telling myself, you're two days on the fucking job. It's time to be a husband. You know, <laughs> like you. it's your time to step up. Imagine if he stayed in Turks and Caicos. Well, honey, you go back with the kid and I'll just get him out. Stay calm. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. everything's going to be fine. And in that moment, like we're fine. We're grateful. We're here with you guys. We get to tell the story. But in this moment, it felt like a nightmare. Yeah. I'm like, this is not happening. We booked these non refundable. When it came to our, you know, our honeymoon, we went for it. You know, like we, again, yeah. we had been working hard, you know, we didn't do any type of trade. We decided to make an investment in our honeymoon. Any type of trade means, yeah, we didn't do some sort of uh, free stay at a place in exchange for posting. My guess is $10,000 a night sort of penthouse type of vibe here. And, and, and spend on what we thought was, should we be spending this kind of money? Yeah. Um. On, but we're like, you know what? We we want to, you know, we the mom. They should have let the mom stay. Did the mom get to stay? Working hard. We really want to connect on our honeymoon. I thought that Turks and Caicos was going to tell them they weren't going to allow Nick in for those cowboy boots. I thought that's what. So we went for it. Thank, and we were staying at the Y Mara in in Turks and Caicos. Thankfully, despite their non refundable policy, the good people at the Y Mara Hotel graciously refunded our money. Oh, that's so great. That's, shout out to them. We thank them. But yeah, it really was. It was so chaotic. But like, <laughs> I like, we'll refund you if you shout us out for refunding you. You know, I got so many opportunities to call Nally my wife, and that was great. Because oh. <laughs> oh. I was like, I'm not leaving my wife. You know, I got my wife here. You know, like I just kept, I just got so many opportunities to refer to her as my wife, and like, is my, I'm losing my mind. This chaos, we're about to get sent back. We're about to not have a honeymoon. If you're a negative person. You would say, oh, he's cr he's a millionaire crying about his vacation not going, which I understand. But if you're a compassionate person, which I believe t I am, you look at this and go, man, this stinks. It doesn't matter if he's staying in a penthouse or a shack. He's 
celebrating his marriage. He's having this moment where it's supposed to be this. And sometimes in life, <laughs> you just realize you just can't bench press your way out of something. You're just told no. And you are rerouted. And they were rerouted. And it was so hard because it was like we had just had this high, you know, that where would, yeah. we had the best two days ever. And then it was like we were so excited. And then we got there and it was like we had put all this work into River's passport and my mom's passport. And it was like I didn't check mine. I didn't check. You know, we just like assumed everything was OK. We had been to Toronto a few months ago. No issues. Yeah. And it was just like, I don't, you know, and it was just. It was a yeah was one worst, motion from the, another w- yeah and and so they said you were booking you on the next flight out that leaves at two o'clock and it's noon and, and it, it's just chaos and if you've ever been to the Turks and K- if you haven't been to the Turks and Caicos airport it's not very big it has no AC yeah. it has mm-hmm. like ten seats it's packed there's not a lot of like food options yeah. you know with it's packed it's, it's a packed. sardine can so they're like we're gonna go put you on the next flight so we go to the Delta counter. The people of Delta were truly amazing. Oh, great. Uh, yeah. They were really, really great people. And but there then was, the flight's delayed. Well, there was an issue with getting River onto our ticket. Don't know what, what it was, but well, it had to we do, stayed. It had to do with the fact that we had just gone off a flight. <laughs> oh, mm. Yeah. So they were like, it was like we had just landed. And then obviously, two hours later, we're getting on the next flight. And so it took, we stood in that airport for six hours. Right. And, if I, you know, River is losing her shit. Yeah. You know, she's just been on an airplane for all these hours. We're now in this, like, hot. It's loud. She's very overstimulated. Right, so it goes on and on. And um, anyway, interesting episode by all means to hear this, the wild story. And what do you learn from it? What do you glean? Well, you double check your passports, I guess, and the policies of places. I mean, this makes me never want to go to Turks and Caicos in the first place. I, although I've 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 traveled to countries that have very aggressive laws, you know, whether it be their no no drug policy laws, and you're just like, I got to make sure I don't have any edibles on me because what's free in our country, or you know, in some places, next thing you know, it can be life in prison somewhere else. It's a wild wild story. All right, well, I'm going to be going live on Patreon at noon Central Standard Time. We'll see you then. Dave Neal, uh, patreon.com slash Dave Neal.